everyone. I hope everyone is having a fantastic evening. We are off to go to downtown Hendersonville. Uh, this is going to be our standard test route for that. Let's go ahead and see if it'll let us enable it here. One thing I've noticed with this update. There it goes. One thing I've noticed with this update. I'm probably going to jinx us. I guarantee you I'm going to jinx us. But. We haven't had the GPS issue. Um, I've been out three times, I think, with this update. Um, haven't had it yet. Which is great. So that's freaking awesome. So this route, historically, has been done... I think I've done it like five times. I have a playlist. You, each one of my routes will have a playlist, so you can see previous updates, how it, how it does. My goal in the future is to have each... Um, route like compared in a single video so you don't have to manually look through the it, but that's a lot of work um it is on, on in the plans so um if you're not subscribed i appreciate subscribing um that will come out at some point hold me accountable i will plan to do it um but this route historically has been done with zero disengagements multiple times so a little bit too far to the right but um still still fine I suppose this is where it's questionable and it actually is doing see it's slowing down right here because it's really hesitant but this is better because it's at night you can see the lane lines better and it's um, already over so apparently a trick I'm not gonna do it because the car is coming up on my left um, if you keep on changing lanes left and right you can keep it in full self-driving um, uh, AI driver um, actually uh, discovered that um, I have accidentally done it. I was like, well, I thought it was just like taking a while to get uh, into full self driving, or, or sorry, to get onto navigate and autopilot. But it was because I changed lanes three times, and so it kept it enabled for a while. I'm like, huh? Maybe like and it was at like the beginning of an update. So I was like, oh well, maybe they've changed it to where um, it now is on highway, single stack without telling us. But no, it was just it was that glitch, I guess, un unintentional, like, um, uh, flaw, if you will, in the software, I guess, and I don't think it's really a big deal, and to be honest, I think currently the full self-driving logic works better on the highway than navigating autopilot, um, at least the few little bits I've got to deal with it, it changes lanes better, that's, that's what mostly is better. But we're going to cruise on the highway here, and I'll see you once we're off. Okay, let's see how it does getting off the highway here. Not gonna touch the speed unless I have to. Uh, it's going back and forth. It even went back to acceleration for a little bit. I'm hoping single stack will fix that. I think the switch over between navigate and autopilot and single stack is what causes that issue. It's still very smooth getting off this exit. I think this is the first time getting off this exit with this update. Um, just as smooth as previous. Um, what I'm gonna look forward to on this update is to see what's basically what's not worse um there is very little that's better the map data in saludo is the biggest thing it just so happened to be the first video i made um everything else seems to be like that was like that's one of the worst times it's ever done that turn it was actually really close to the barrier and um yeah it went over the yellow lines that were right there I don't know if it's ever done that. Maybe on one of the early, early builds, but none of the recent ones. Not for a long time. Um, it was more aggressive. So it was different. It didn't mess up, but I don't think it was worse than it was on the previous few updates. It was just more aggressive and assertive. Assertive is the better word of going around those turns. Excellent. This is okay. So that's the first time that's ever said to follow a route. That must be new with the map data. 
Um, that's awesome. Okay. So we got finally another like good positive thing. Uh, map data fixed another issue here. Um, that issue, it wasn't clear. Uh, the car would never get over uh, in this lane before the turn. Like up here is the turn. There's two turn lanes. And it, it, what it did now is what it should have been doing. It's get over early. I, I would normally have to manually make it get over. It would never get over on itself, uh, on its own. What it's doing now, and it turned the blinker on for the first time. Hey, this is the best that's ever done this, for sure. Oh, good, thank goodness. Okay, I thought I was gonna run the red light, so it saved that. Um, it could have slowed sooner. Um, it's still getting better. It is getting better at uh, adjusting for yellow lights. Um, and it actually wants to turn right on red. It sees this car coming, and now we're actually good to go. Uh, and it's trying to go. There's a car behind me. I'm going to press it, give it some... Uh, give it... I'm watching the curve on the right. Cause some, um, so that fast acceleration wasn't me. Once it turned green, the car took over and started accelerating faster. Uh, there was a car behind me, which is why I wasn't letting it creep. Because I, I don't like to piss off other drivers. Um, if I can avoid it. It's definitely happened. I've got captured road rage <laughs> multiple times. Um, uh, on the car, on video, so it does happen, and I've had several lot times where it's happened off video. Um, so and that's only in a year and a half, a year and a, not even a year and a few months. Um, I've several road rage incidents, and I drive less than the normal person. So let, let that data point be for what it's worth. Um, Full cell driving definitely will piss off other people as much as it pisses me off sometimes. God, this car smells so bad. Um, I don't know if it's this truck or if it's the car in front of me. This is why I normally have recirculate on because I, I'm really sensitive to gas fumes now. I was before I got this car, but afterwards, now then I, since I never went to a gas station again, I, I uh, it, it's terrible. I'm really sensitive to that smell. Um, funny enough, as a kid, I used to like the smell. I think a lot of kids do. They like the smell of fu fumes or the fuel. Uh, it's just, now it's just, it's not nauseating. So, um, we'll be glad when a lot more cars are electric vehicles, everyone. It'll be, a, it'll be an awesome day. Doesn't need to be a Tesla. I think you're kind of kind of questionable what you're doing if you're not like it's the best deal. If you're buying an electric car, it's the best deal. But um, for certain people, the other models definitely make sense, especially Hyundai. If you haven't seen the new Ionic Five, it would it's by far one of the best you know, competitors. There's no true competitor to the Tesla, but um, definitely is uh, everything I've seen about it. It's an excellent car. I like Hyundai the brand. I, I'm not really brand loyal to anyone, not even Tesla. Um, but the Hyundai, um, I had a Hyundai before. It was back when they made, everyone hated their cars back in the 90s. I thought it was a good car. The little, it was a perfect high school car, high, high school kid car, up through college. Um, perfect car. But yeah, otherwise, um, um, I think it's a really good car, the Ionic 5. Based on what I've seen, obviously I haven't driven it. This road right here, uh, we're gonna see. It seems to be about the same in terms of its hesitancy with poor lane lines. We'll see how it does. Maybe having a car in front will make it do a little bit better, potentially. Brake too hard, in my opinion, going around that corner. Same thing happened in this spot where that car is passing. It kind of turned the wheel a little bit towards the car. It's not like it was close to the car, but like the fact that I can feel the wheel turning towards the other car is unsettling. It should at least, when a car is close to you, well, it should be very little reason uh, the wheel should ever turn towards it. Either turn away from it or continue straight. This is fixed over the last update. Um, is it? Okay, we have to use the accelerator. I, all I did was tap it. That's all I did. Um, it, it, 
is requiring, I think it's... I almost hit that stick sitting there. Um, whoa, don't, don't, don't you dare go run for the red light. We're good to go now, actually. So, but I'm going to leave it here and see what it does. It's, well, this guy's probably like, what are you doing? I'm going to tap, tap the accelerator. Um, oh, don't stop. Oh, come on. Keep on going. Go. Okay, so if that guy wasn't sitting there, I would have, um, I would have uh, just let it do its thing, but it would have probably, I don't, I don't know, I, I owe it, a lot of people affect my decisions, I guess it would have been too much, um, in 500 feet, it just doesn't look normal, like, you can turn right on red, you have your blinker on while you're turning, at least that's what I think the other guy's staring at me for, um, but as long as we can make this last turn, Let's jinx it, everyone. We're gonna. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make a car. Ah, oh, man. Hey, hey, everyone. So actually, overall, this was an improvement. This was like one of the better drives I've had on 10.10. Um, it has not been good otherwise. I just this update has not been great. Um, but whatever reason, day over day, I don't know. Um, definitely some no like uh, tangible is a good word. Uh, I want to back in this time. Yeah. Probably make a mistake doing this, but hey. So everyone, um, there's definitely some tangible, um, tangible improvements with this update. Okay. Yeah, tangible update, uh, improvements with this update. I'm really glad to see that because I was getting really disappointed. Everyone I've talked to, not good. Um, everyone, the previous update was better. This particular drive, it was better. Um, for what it's worth, that's awesome. I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.